Whoa, have a look at that one. That's two wides. That's gone miles down the leg side. Well, that's one of the biggest wides of all time. And not only that, it's an interesting action he's bowling with. In Zamam ul -Hab. Well, let's have another look at the action. He's actually no ball him now. Uh, Fozzy went over the front line. Just let's have a look. Just watch this action. Well, I tell you what, this is risky on Pakistan's part. I reckon there's a definite jerk in that action. Well, this is unbelievably interesting. This I've never seen him bowl before. Come I on. think there's a definite jerk. Now, the law says, and no ball called again. Well, I think it may just be that we have a sensation on our hands here. Imzamam al-Haq. Let's see if it's front foot. I don't think so. We made this mistake when... Uh, little Murali Duran was bowling in Brisbane. Now watch the elbow. Just watch the elbow here. Bends it and then strikes it. Oh, that one way down the leg side. Probably a good thing. I'll probably take him off. Four wides. Very little Rashid Latif can do here. It was so wide down the leg side and he's standing up. He had absolutely no chance. But this is the problem Pakistan have. They picked two medium pacers, they have three spinners. The fielding restriction is there till the 15 overs are bowled. And you see there, he was called no ball for uh, just touching that front line. The square leg umpire seems to have turned around and is having a good look at him. Short outside, off stump, flat away through the gap on the offside, running away down towards the boundary. They'll come back for the second. Well, this is dramatic stuff here at the Padang in Singapore. Are we going to see another bowler called for no balling? This is a big risk by Pakistan. I don't think there's any doubt that uh, there's a bit of a jerk in this action. No ball called again. Well, 